Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. This is going to be a Should You Take the Past Person Back reading. Okay, so I made some little cards with all the zodiac signs on them. We're going to pull from here to see who's next. All right. Okay. And then I made some little cards also to pull at the end of the reading to give you your answer if should you take the person back, yes or no. Okay. So, okay, let's just pull it down. Let's see who's next. Let's see who's next here. Let's see who's next. Who should go next, spirit? Who should go next? Who should go next, spirit? Who should go next? Okay, we have Taurus. Taurus, you're up. Okay, so we're going to say Taurus. Spirit, I think, is you know, of a white light. Should Taurus take their past person back? Should Taurus take their past person back? Should they even in entertain this past person, spirit? Sorry, that's my dryer. Should Taurus take this past person back? Spirit, guys, angels, you know, my Taurus, should they take this past person back? Would it be a good idea to take this past person back for my Taurus spirit? All right, let's go. Should, is it a good idea to take this past person back for my Tauruses? Is it a good idea to take this past person back for my Taurus? We have the seven pentacles. So reminiscing, looking back on the past is what you're doing towards this to be you. Okay. Pentacles is Earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn. So you could be thinking back about a Capricorn here towards, or you could just this could just be you thinking or a Virgo. Yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles thinking long and hard about a situation here. Yeah, Nine of Swords very much in your head about it. Very much in your head about. This earth sign, okay, nine of wands, feeling very frustrated, defeated here, okay? The nine of wands will represent, like, mental mental issues, the emotional imbalance here. With the nine of swords that was at the bottom of the deck, you feel very emotionally imbalanced here, thinking about this situation. Okay, yeah, queen of swords, you can look, could be dealing with an air sign, maybe Gemini Aquarius, you could want to communicate with this person here with the hermit that flipped over but you could be in no communication with this person at this time okay could be dealing with a virgo they could have ghosted you or you ghosted them okay all right so with these cards we have the seven pentacles and nine of pentacles thinking back long and hard about a situation here okay very much in your mental about it you feel very defeated about the situation here Okay, you want to communicate. You're trying to use logic here. You're trying to cut out emotion and use logic to handle a situation here. The death, oh, I thought it was the hermit. The death of Scorpio could be dealing with a Scorpio. But something ended here, and you are uh, in your head about this ending here. Okay, what's the Seven of Pentacles? The Seven of Pentacles is the Queen of Wands. So it could be this Queen of Wands energy, somebody fiery, an entrepreneur, somebody sexy as fuck, somebody that gets a lot of attention, somebody that's adventurous, okay, that you're thinking about here a lot. You have the Ace of Wands, you have a lot of passion for it, you want to move toward this person passionately. You're very, very sexually attracted to this person, very, very much so, Three of Swords, but there was an ending of betrayal here, most definitely. Okay, what's the King of Pentacles? What's the Queen? What's the Knight of Pentacles? I mean, what's this Knight of Pentacles for my Taurus? What's the Knight of Pentacles? The Moon could be dealing with a Cancer as well. So you've been in your emotions about this person for a long time. You've, you're hiding how passionate you are about this person here. Yeah, what's the nine of wands, the eight of pentacles? The nine of cups at the bottom. Yeah, you're hiding your emotions. You want to make an offer to this person. You want to work with this person with the eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles, or you could have met this person at work. Okay. Maybe at a gym or something like that, I'm hearing. That you're hiding how you feel about this person. You're hiding your passion. You're 
passion you have for this person here. What's the Queen of Swords? We have two Queens here. So that, that's some bullshit in the world. Yeah, so it's over with this Queen of Swords. Things ended here. And what's the death? With this Queen of Swords, and you want this new beginning with this Queen of Wands energy. What's the death? You have the Nine of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Sun. So I feel like you want to be happy. You want your emotional fulfillment here. You want to come out of this Four of Swords energy. You have a tower, something into here. You want to come out of this Four of Swords energy. You want to go towards your happiness. Yeah. Five of Pentacles is here, but you feel out, left out in the cold here. Very abandoned. What's the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands? What's the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands over here? What is the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands? There was also an ending here with this person as well. Very much so an ending. Seven of Wands. This person could be blocking you out. Maybe because I saw the Three of Swords because of betrayal or lies. Here. What's this Knight of Pentacles in the Moon? Knight of Pentacles in the Moon. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So we have three queens here. Taurus. Yes. In the Page of Pentacles. You could have a child with this Queen of Pentacles. This could be somebody that you're married with. You could have been hiding the fact that you're married with a child from this person for a long time. Because the Knight of Pentacles is something that, that takes forever or that's been happening for a long time. You could have been hiding this situation here or not. Okay? So this person ended it. So there was a harsh ending with this Ace of Wands. This was somebody new that you were seeing here. Okay. What is this Nine of Wands in the Eight of Pentacles? What's this Nine of Wands in the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, the wheel. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Justice. So I feel like this was Justice. I feel like the tables have turned now. Now, you know, this person may have been put giving you a lot in the past and now, you know, investing a lot of their time and energy on you. And now the tables have turned. You Now this person has turned their back. They're, they're guarded from you. They ended the situation here. And now you want to work on the situation. But this is justice for juggling these women. Okay. What is the queen of swords in the world? Yeah, judgment in reverse. Yeah. You lack integrity here. You lack being honest here. There's going to be no, yeah, three of swords. Yeah. You had a third party situation for breaking these people's hearts for lying here. Okay. Wow. Tell me more about this um, Queen of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles, please. Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles. Definitely a marriage with a kid. You definitely hit a marriage. King and Queen of Pentacles represents a marriage. With the Page of Pentacles, a kid. Yeah. King of Swords. And now we have the King and Queen of Swords here. So, two, like... Okay. What's the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands? Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands. The Magician. Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Could be dealing with the Gemini. Yeah, Ace of Swords. You... Uh, manifest a new beginning with this person, this Queen of Wands energy. Okay, yeah, Two of Cups that you are in love with, with the Two of Cups you feel a soulmate connection with. What is this? What is this King and Queen of Pentacles? King and Queen of Pentacles. I feel like that relationship went cold here. The King and Queen of Pentacles. The King and Queen of Pentacles, please. The King and Queen of Pentacles. We have the King of wands and the two of wands the six of cups yeah you're making a decision to go back to your past this person you feel a connection with yeah you want to balance things out with this other person who's what's the queen of pentacles what do you want to do with the queen of pentacles yeah nine of swords but you're worried about this what is the queen of pentacles page of cups because of children here yeah page of swords yep definitely because of children could be watching this person as well you could be worried about losing your person. And you also have a soulmate connection with this person as well. What's this Queen of Swords up here with the world? What's this Queen of Swords up here with the world? What's this Queen of Swords up here with the world? Yeah, Knight of Wands. 
yeah, things are not happening in that. Yeah, Knight of Swords, you want to rush into this Queen of Swords. What's this Queen of Swords up here? Yeah, we have the Five of Swords, yeah. What's this Five of Swords with the Queen of Swords? And the Three of Swords, yep, the Empress. What's this Empress with the Three of Swords? Yeah, this Empress with the Nine of Pentacles is very independent, beautiful, single, doing her thing. Yeah, the Devil. You feel very attached. Yeah, this person moved on away from the toxic energy, the mind game. Yeah, they dropped it. There's an ending here with this, with this empress because she don't have time. Yeah, chariot. She, she could be relocating with the chariot, the ten of wands, and the six of swords. This empress energy could be relocating here. Moving on to a better situation here. Okay. Most definitely with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Most definitely moving forward. What's the sun over here? It, it could be celebrating this. What's the sun and the Five of Pentacles? Yeah, the Tower and the Ten of Cups in reverse. With the Six of Cups. Yeah, somebody is leaving the past out yeah and moving on quickly yeah six of wands they don't feel a victory in that situation they've holding back they're moving forward here okay taurus so you want a new beginning with this queen of wands energy that you feel a deep connection toward okay but you also have a soulmate connection with the person that you could be possibly married to because we have the lovers on top of the king and queen of pentacles and then we have the two of cups with the king and queen of wands what's the messages for my Taurus? what's the messages for my Taurus, please should they take the past person back this person and then you have a queen of swords energy that you um have on the side too so there's multiple women here so you were juggling three of swords definitely a third party situation seven of swords lies what's the queen of wands over here with the magician the two of cups and the ace of swords we have the four of cups so this person you feel like a missed opportunity with this person four of cups you really feel like a missed opportunity. Yeah, five of pentacles. You want to come out of the cold with this person, two of pentacles. Yeah, you feel like you dropped the ball on that situation. Yeah, ten of cups. Because this person made you very happy here. But now this person is being cold, cutting you out here. Yeah, seven of cups and the eight of pentacles. Yeah, you can't move on from this person. You want to win this person by all costs. You want a commitment with the... um with the power font here and then we have the queen of swords behind it you feel like this person is the one for you this person over here okay so who is this queen and king of pentacles with the lovers who is this queen and king of pentacles with the lovers you have the eight of cups you want to walk away from that situation or they walked away yeah three of wands you may want to relocate you have the ace of wands and the strength Yeah, you want to walk away to a new beginning here. Yeah, justice, you 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 want to move on. It could also, with the justice be here, it could also be, yeah, the world. With the king of pentacles, yeah. You could be going to get a divorce. Okay, you could be going to court for a divorce here for an ending. With this queen of pentacles here, Angie, in this marriage. Okay, you could be worried about it, though, because there's kids involved. Child support, alimony, or something. And what's this Queen of Swords up here for my tools? What's this Queen of Swords up here? Yep, Three of Swords again. Three of Swords again. The Hermit. The Ace of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, the Four of Swords. This Queen of Swords energy is kind of just watching their clocks go. They're moving on, doing what's best for them. This Queen of Swords or Queen of Pentacles energy could be the same thing. The same person. Yeah, Queen of Wands in reverse. Page of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. This Queen of Swords and, and Queen of Pentacles person could be 
the same person, okay? This person is is tired. They're moving on. They can be in a bitchy mood, okay? Because you are moving, you are you lied about a third party situation. If you were in a higher commitment with this person, Taurus, okay? And this person, you know, you're gonna have to pay out for this child that y'all have together. Just the page of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Yeah, six of pentacles. I knew it. You're gonna have to give, but it was a connection here with this person too. The two of cups, okay? The five of cups. You're in regret here. Because you hurt this person too. Yeah, seven of pentacles. You were manipulative with the magician in reverse. About this new beginning that you were starting behind this person back. Yeah, you was making illusions, selling this person that you, this person figured it out. This person is a high priest. The queen of swords is very intellectual. She rules, rules the cerebral, the brain. So she's very, very highly intelligent and she's intuitive. She knew that you were lying, giving her false promises, illusions with this magician in reverse. And she figured out that you were lying. So now this person is done. It's ended with this queen of pentacles. Um, um, so this queen of swords and queen of pentacles energy is the same person. This is somebody that you were married to in a long-term commitment with, and it's ending here. You guys are going to be going through the justice system with the justice here, okay? And this person is going to move on to a new beginning. You want to move on to a new beginning with this queen of wands energy. Somebody you also feel a soulmate connection with which is understandable, but you should have been honest about it. Because now karma with the justice and the will of fortune and the judgment is here. Now karma is coming back on you because you could have lost both of these people. Both of them. Okay? Could have lost both of them. So what's the outcome with this Queen of Wands over here? What is the outcome with this Queen of Wands? What is the overall outcome with this Queen of Wands? What is the overall outcome with this Queen of Wands? What is the overall outcome with this Queen of Wands? You want to communicate with this person? You're going to move toward this person? What's the overall outcome for this Queen of Wands? Nine of Wands. Eight to the nine. And then you're going to feel frustrated or annoyed. You have three of cups. Okay, you're going to rec you want to reconcile with this Queen of Wands. judgment in the page of cups yeah you want to move toward this person what's the overall outcome for this queen of wands two of swords with this person my yeah the knight of wands so things are going to take off yeah six of cups from your past this person could be from your past things are going to take off with this person okay but then there's going to be more mind games here Somebody is going to um, move on here from the mind games. Okay. Yeah, King of Cups. And the Ten of Swords. So things are going to pick up. But then somebody's going to move on to a new to a new opportunity here. Eventually somebody's going to move on. So should Taurus take this past person back? Should Taurus take this past person back? Let's see what popped out. Should Taurus take this past person back? We have a never. Okay? We have never here. But you have to do what's best for you. Okay? Taurus is, and then we had never, and we have a no. Yeah, no. Okay? So you should, you know, things are going to pick back up. You're going to reconcile with this person possibly. And then things are going to end. They're going to be mind games and lies. And um, and, and this person is going to have options still. And kind of just do them. Because it's in them. I'm hearing the relationship won't last a year. Honestly, it will not. And honestly, in the end, this person may want to go back to their original relationship. So what's the messages for my Tauruses? What's the messages for my Tauruses? What's the messages for my Tauruses, please? What's the messages for my Tauruses? Should they take their past person back? Should my Taurus take their past person back? 
and say no and never. We have the I like you, someone likes you, romance is booming, fun, furry, and one in a day. What's the messages for my Tauruses? We have kisses, yeah. Uh, unconditional loving, giving, and affection. Dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. We have sunglasses, watching, looking, gaslighting, and stopping. We have runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear, endlessly, and letting go. And then we have acts. So, yeah. Um, somebody's going to come into this relationship hot and heavy. I like you, dating. But then it's going to be with over with the Grim Reaper at the bottom of the deck. And I saw the axe card. It's going to end. And I'm hearing it won't take long. The grass is not always greener on the other side. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. Let me get a couple of more and I'm done. A couple of more for tours, please. We have cassette. Okay? Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. One more for my tours. Thank you. Palm tree stability, security, permanent growth, endurance, and flexibility. Girl talk. Yeah. So you should have been talking to your friends about the situation, possibly Taurus. Maybe you should keep talking to them because things are going to pick up. This is a soulmate, but, but like I've said before, every soulmate you're not meant to be with and stay with. You know what I'm saying? Some of them are just lessons. Okay? So, you know, just be careful how you handle people because what you do comes back on you. And nowadays, karma don't take long to come back on a person. So those are the messages that I have for you. Taurus, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, share this video with anyone and everyone, and I'll see y'all in the next one.